So we're going to play um, Abu Dhabi, the well-known Abu Dhabi from the Green Tees today, um, using the GC Quad and FSX 2020. And uh, we'll see if I get through all nine holes, or uh, if we're playing good, we might play all 18. So it's a short par four, hole number one. I like to a little better drive than that. 75 yards left. I'm gonna hit my lob wedge. Kind of a three-quarter shot, roughly. Uh, spin. Not enough. Carried that one a little too far. Five yards too far. So when I putt inside um, FSX 2020, I don't use the software to aim. I just putt inside the simulator bay. Adds uh, a little more realism to it, and putting with the GC Quad extremely accurate. So um, it's nice to just pick your line inside the room here and putt away. Three foot gimmies, took a bar on that one. It's par five, hole number two. A little bit of a dog leg, right? Try and hit my five iron. Shouldn't be a problem to get it there if I hit it well. Trick is to not run past the green. Oh, I hit it fat. Go. Yeah, a little too much math on that one. Thirty six left. <clears throat> Seven foot three. There's a touch of left to right in it. This hole is one of these go for it and you know what? It's only playing two sixty nine. Par four, short par four, if we can get a good drive. Mike gets set up for a strike. We definitely don't want to be on the palm trees on the left because that's not going to be good. <clears throat> ah, I sent it right. Hit down. This is that risk reward stuff we were just talking about. <clears throat> well, 
didn't pay, did it? Last time I went to drive the green, I learned a hard lesson too, so that's two in a row. Still not smart enough to uh, hit the right shot. We've got a 20 footer, four inches downhill, a little right to left. Go in. Oh, I needed that to go. Well, that was a deserved bogey, wasn't it? It's still not a given, right on three foot. So again, GC quad, whether it's one foot, one inch, three feet, um, very accurate, just gotta put them away. Three, 126 to the flag. I'm going to hit a gap wedge. I'm hit a gap wedge a little far. <clears throat> Ten foot putt. actually quite a makeable putt. Even in simulated golf that was very makeable. So hole number five, par four. I'm just gonna hug the left side and hopefully it just leaks a little to the right. It's dog leg left so I should be able to get one to land on the fairway. Again, try to get a touch of draw on it with a gap wedge. Oh, I overcut it. Get the green. Well, that was a fortunate hill right there, wasn't it? Not planned, but I'll take a lucky shot all day. That was a gimme for a pull there. We got 266, so here we can easily get to the water. I'm not that interested in the water right now. So I'm going to try to hit a kind of a cut hybrid, three hybrid. Should uh, come up well short of that water unless I slice the heck out of it and go on the right side water. Oh man, I almost did that too. Stop. I hit that way off the hill and that wasn't a very good strike.
163. Normally I would hit my eight iron here. I'm gonna try to draw in a nine iron. I get a little more distance when I draw a ball, a little less trajectory, a little less spin. way up to the right. Yeah, I deserved that. My start line was a mile right. <clears throat> 32 yards. Go. Go. Making hard work with this one. It's a pretty straight putt. 15 feet, one inch uphill. Not much in it at all. Pushed it a bit, <clears throat> didn't hit it either. Downhill, probably playing about 175, 177. And I hit a seven iron. Probably go on that line in case we do. Should miss that palm tree. That was a three hybrid. It's hit all right. 194 left. Need to uh, see if I can get my six on in there. Oh, I think I overdrew it. Get down. I go back and forth from hitting draws and fades and sometimes those draws they carry an extra club at least. 16 yards, kind of a little bit of a straight downhill there. Kind of got that 
stuck in the mat, that toe. <laughs> Well, for par, four foot four, pretty straight. See, typically you would think in real life that would have lipped in. We we'll never hit it really hard. And that is, and you guys decide whether you think that would have went in in real life or not, but I find a lot of good putts, if you don't get center of the cup on uh, FSX 2020, they will lip out and you'll get some really ugly lip outs. And that tends to be frustrating every now and then. I wish they would uh, clean that up a little bit, but all in all, it's, it's still pretty good. It's just some of those when you, you believe they should go in and they don't. That was an example and we'll have another one yet. <clears throat> on a fullish swing they went too far so I took a little off that one and I shouldn't have. <clears throat> Left myself with a literally a 50 footer. Well, that's a good putt for 50 feet. 45 with a 5 inch uphill. <clears throat> nice gimme. Another par 5. It's a narrow fairway. Go right down that left side fairway. Let's see if we just get a touch of light fade. what the ball speed was on that one. 296 carry, 161, really good launch, perfect spin. Not a bad strike. <clears throat> roughly the same distance I carried it way too far this one I tried a little baby swing hit it a touch fat and it's 20 yards short lesson learned give it a not quite a three foot gimme range <clears throat> A slippery three and a half footer. Oh, this one will be slippery. So I'm aiming about five, six inches outside the hole, what I believe is anyway. Oh, I 
hit it too hard. Didn't even give it a chance to break. <clears throat> All right, short par four. Probably somewhere right in here. Got a four iron there. Try to get up to about 230, 240, somewhere in there. <clears throat> now it's got to go. I sliced that a bit. Got lucky. Yeah, I sliced that a bit. Maybe not a slice, but I definitely pushed it. <clears throat> 89 yards left. center at the perfect weight. All right, we got 157 yards. Foot downhill. Tried to go right out of there. It's pretty, pretty not bad. 16 feet left. Again, just a little touch of left to right. <clears throat> go! <laughs> oh, we had another one right in the heart. Just didn't give it enough pace. Four. <clears throat> go with three iron here. See if we can get it out past that 240 mark. Nope, not today. That was fat. uphill for a pitching wedge so if I go in from right to left I'll definitely have enough distance. <clears throat> Outside the guinea range here. <clears throat> right. A little longer for four. Again, we'll try to stay down that left. Side. 
It's almost a carbon copy of a couple holes ago where I hit that palm tree right there. I had to check what hole we were on. This one's a little further left at least. <laughs> uh, that was a complete pull. <laughs> I shouldn't have talked about the palm tree. Oh, I would like to have that one all over again. Uh, now what? Well, we're in trouble here. I honestly don't know what's going to get out. That rock right in front of me could be a real problem. Well, I'm going to try to slice my hybrid and that was a bad drive, bad mistake to make there. Ah, slice out of there, come on. Get up. Well, I'm surprised we never touched that rock or any of the other trees or anything. Yeah, 170 left. Well, that was a get out of trouble, that one. That's a scramble. Ended up with a par after all that. <clears throat> 167. Full setting up for a fade. So I'm gonna try to get an eight iron. Cut one of that back flag there. right on it, just a little far. <clears throat> 11 feet, 4 inches downhill. Pretty straight. Oh, and I rolled right past the hole. Didn't even slow down. That was hit way too hard. feet back. Brutal. To have both those putts back. Full 16. What have we got? Full 16. Too far to go to the green. Should be able to get, a, get my three hybrid, get a little fade so it stays in the fairway. Pretty 
straightforward putt here, seven foot, straight as an arrow. Like I said, GC quad putting. If you putt them straight and it's a straight putt, they will go in. Very accurate machine for putting. Hole 17. Probably. Probably fly one right down the center if we can get a good drive. Yeah. It's palm trees on my road again, isn't it? That's no good. So because that palm tree is scaring me, I'm gonna to try to slice one around the corner. <clears throat> cut, cut. Oh no, don't hit the cart path. Well, we went for a slice and it stayed pretty straight. A couple yard uh, fade, if anything. 22, nine feet uphill, gap wedge. <clears throat> I didn't hit that very well. Yeah. Yeah, that was a bad strike. So we got 15 yards, five inches. Uphill. Just gonna try to the bump and run. Bump and runs are hard because it's hard to picture 15 yards. But a little practice. Oh, I hit that way too hard. Three yards too hard. Yeah, out of all the things playing simulator golf, maybe not in other softwares, but in. Uh, on FSX here, um, bump and runs, they are challenging. I really don't practice them either, so that's probably half the problem. I'll stop inside three. <clears throat> yeah, I pulled that one, and that was me. I deserved that one. Bogey. <clears throat> I haven't played this course before, so it's, it's uh, surprisingly tight. five is one of these risk reward ones again. Sliced one is going to end up in the water and really damage the score here. Let's see if we can go right at that bunker. <clears throat> Uphill cost me a stroke on that one. Four iron. Well, we were looking for a little more draw than that. Hasn't struck perfectly, but I'll take it. Heck of a long putt now, though. 
35 feet straight till it gets to the hole. We did not hit it. Chicken. Chicken out. Saves par with a six feet left. It's got a little right to left break. Oh. <laughs> Three Jack City. That was unfortunate to end there. Huh? Well, there you have it. 18 holes on FSX 2020 with the GC quad playing Abu Dhabi.